today. Let's discuss how to create a stable printing effect, like we've shown in the opening. If you are interested in about this topic, keep watching. Now let's go to the comment section to free download the video product plugger and get the video started. Generally, every second of a film contains 24 still images. Suppose every image is one frame, the playback of these 24 frames would look smooth. However, as for the film in a step printing style, every second may contain only 5 still images. Each image will stay for several frames. In other words, several frames show the same image that can create a sense of unsmooth. Photographers can get this effect by adjusting the shutter speed before taking the shots and recording the footage in a slow frame rate. This is also known as the slow shutter technique. We can see the use of this technique in many films from Wong. Express the inner world of characters with motion blurry and then emphasize the atmosphere with strong colors. This will create a unique style in cinematography. As for simulating the step printing effect, we just need to remember three points. Create slight view of stuttering. Add a drop shadow. Get a color that can invoke emotion. You can focus on these three points and create a step printing effect in post-production. Many of us laid a device that supports adjusting the shutter speed, so I recommend you to shoot time-lapse videos. That can help you make a step printing effect easily. Here, I use this video. It records the city street with a trolley bus. Launch up video product flagger. Start a new project. Add it to the program. Drag it onto timeline. Change its length. Let's navigate the video frame by frame. It's easy to notice, as a time-lapse video, it looks not as smooth as regular videos. So we can go to the inspector section on the upper right, find a play speed and decrease its speed. You can also use a preset speed ratio, or you can hit custom and enter the desired speed ratio here. Hit OK. Now the scenes of stuttering becomes more obvious. Next, let's select the color icon. Enter the color editor panel. Herein, we can make the overall color feel more gloomy. First, let's move the slider of temperature to the blue side. Then we increase the value of contrast. Last, we change other properties. The tone of the footage now becomes different. Hit apply to go back to the main interface. Apart from that, we can find the motion icon, click on it. Add a somatic open effect. Move the second keyframe forward to speed up the somatic open effect. Also, we need to delete the third and the fourth keyframe. Then, let's add a keyframe at the end of this video by clicking Add a Keyframe. That can help us keep the somatic masking effect. Hit apply to apply the edits. Now the video has its style. Last, we need to add the drop shadow effect. It's super easy to do. Simply use the shortcut Ctrl and C to copy the video we just edited. Paste it onto the overlay track. 
Then click on the next frame icon to move two frames forward. Drag the video to align it up. Then go to the inspector section to bring down its opacity. And increase the volume for the scale. That's all for making a drop shadow effect. Surely, don't forget to add a great background music for the step printing video. It can bring our outcome to the next level. That's all for today's tutorial. Hopefully, it can give you some hints. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!